Aha. Today seems to be a nice day without any mischiefs or mysteries left to be solved. Arya, Agama ji bag. Do have you seen it? Have you seen my bag? Tau, you just contradicted my statement. Ha. Ah. This calls for an investigation of our own. Purvakyan's latest entry 18.09.2022 case number 0502 the case of the unknown biome a reminder to please like share and subscribe Don't you remember where you kept it? You can give a reminder for like, share, and subscribe, but you don't remember where you kept your bag. No, I, I kept. I know where I kept it. I had it with me, but it's not where I usually keep it. You know, I just come and then I put it on the sofa, but it's not there. Hmm. Interesting. Your travel bag is missing when you are traveling. Why don't we explore a few places you might have left it at? Hmm. Can we? Obviously we can and this is Purvakyan's latest entry. Everything happens accordingly. Now my child, place your hand on your head and whoosh. Uh here we are in Is this Australia? It seems so. Right in front of us is a beautiful pink lake. Uh are you sure this is Australia? and not a figment of your imagination right tau yeah i'm pretty sure and that looks really pretty we're at the pink lake hillia in australia it is a breathtaking mystery that leaves an aesthetically satisfied mood to everyone that views it mhm yeah i'm feeling very aesthetically satisfied <laughs> mm-hmm. well scientists have not been able to derive why this huge expanse of water stays pink it even stays pink after it has been transferred to you know other containers or other places well some theories say that the water is inhabited by a certain bacteria that diffuses a pink hue the sheer number of this bacteria has caused the water to be evenly coated with the pink color but there isn't a definitive answer it's possible that it is rather an algae that causes the color or the crowd of pink hued prawns so many mm. organisms contributing to this pink hue yeah so many possibilities mm-hmm. however we can enjoy the perks of this beautiful lake it's not just for viewing it's also for swimming the water isn't toxic uh, it's but not? it is no it's not it i mean it would look as if you know it might have some kind of weird uh, toxins in it that's making it you know pink because of the bacteria maybe but it's not mm-hmm. it's just highly saline so we can you know nicely go for a swim enjoy the day enjoy the pink sunset and the pink lake but yeah as you said go for a swim no 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 we don't have time for that we have to move on to the next place in my memory because my bag is missing adia yes yes let's go let's go <laughs> Ah. Cold. Oh my tau. Why is your mind so cold? I don't know. I thought we were going to have ice cream and then you know we ended up here because my bag was there with me when I had ice cream. Control. Control your mind. I'm sorry. Oh my god, are you seeing this? Arya, it's blood. No. No. Oh, oh wait. It seems like it's flowing like water. Oh my god, you creepy. You have either a very murderous mind otherwise wait a minute i know this these are the blood falls of antarctica the water flows through those fissures in the glacier can you see them those fissures those cracks mm-hmm. the water flows directly from there like a red hued liquid that's why it looks like blood oh my god though i mean it's theorized that the water could have been trapped in the glacier for centuries with no contact to light oxygen or heat and the salt water you know develops its red color as it flows out of the fissures while some say that the high iron content in the water reacts rapidly with the newly found oxygen as it gives its rustic color that's the red color that we get you know just as iron gets in contact with the oxygen outside 
blood red mm blood red mm-hmm. <laughs> the scene the scene is both enthralling and creepy at the same time so you know let's move on and i'm getting very cold yeah oh god okay let me concentrate hard for this one so we don't end up in a cold place yeah come on tao you can do this yeah haha <laughs> finally something fruitful now where might we be i feel this has something to do with your feelings you feel especially yeah i feel mm-hmm. especially your gut feelings you know <laughs> get it yeah i got it arya i good job i had a gut feeling that this would be what you would say so i got it but you're right we've come up to my intuition I just know we'll be able to find my bag's location here like I just got that sixth sense right it's famously called sure, sixth sure. sense it's the feeling you get when you somehow know something although previously you had no idea of the statement you are able to make decisions too using this sixth sense whether to quit your job make a friend run away from a dog or leave your family to join an expedition of wayward travelers across adventures on the sea or through memories you might just use your intuition first and come up with reasons later intuition works best when paired with deliberation while making decisions intuition is the mystery of knowing without knowing I've also heard that mindfulness does help keep your in- intuition skills stronger. It would help, you know, speed up the process of intuition, make it stronger. Uh Tao, tell your intuition to speed up the process. We're running late here. We got places to be, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I can't just tell it to speed itself up, you know. I don't know how it works. Only suddenly do I have the feeling. And also I feel like intuition is kind of like the instinct of the mind, you know. So meditation kind of maybe is like helping it focus, speed up a little more those instincts, get them a little stronger. Yeah, it is. So it but basically what I'm trying to say is it's spontaneous, not forced. If only it were forced I would end up knowing a lot of things in the world wouldn't I Arya <laughs> You're right So what should we do just you know wait here until your intuition becomes responsive um, I think intuition is not going to work uh, maybe you know let's go a little deeper into my mind you know see what where exactly my bag is Okay <laughs> Ah, the most mysterious of them all, the mind of Miss Savani Chitte. Well, not exactly your mind, though. That is mysterious, but minds in general mm-hmm, are mm-hmm. very mysterious. Mm-hmm. Y- you know, yeah. So little is known about the human mind, yet it is still our mind that is curious enough to think of these things. Yeah. The mystery is that the mind is mysterious about itself. Wow. <laughs> Maybe we already know how it works but are not connected enough to ourselves to understand this working. That's why it's a mystery to us. Nice. Here's where another ununderstandable natural phenomenon comes into picture. The connection between the soul, the body and the mind. How exactly are they connected? We're not able to define the way our body works through science many a times. Mm-hmm. The way souls work, for instance, cannot even be investigated, for they presumably live in some different form of existence that humans have never even been able to observe. Thus, any proof as to how you know they are exactly cannot be even given, because science is about things that you can observe and then you can theorize, you can predict maybe even futures about it, but. something that is so far out of observation or of even our human mind how are we supposed to understand it well uh, like i said in the previous episode sometimes it's okay not knowing it but 
like hopefully we'll get there someday but there are so many things that you don't know and just because you don't know them you're even more excited to you know go through that process of actually you know just going with the flow or maybe trying to understand them if you're a scientist and Exactly. That process itself is so fun that at that point the result the end result which is knowing the mystery and solving it is just not as fun as the actual you know process that we did. So hmm. exactly. And how can we define that we don't know it because essentially our mind is instructing our body to behave in certain ways. So that means our mind already knows, knows it. It's yeah. just us consciously who don't realize that the mind is working on on its own mhm well we will never know we as in i'm saying this this part of our mind will never know but we already know so <laughs> i guess our last <laughs> hope for my glorious bag is my glorious memory so let's go on there exactly Wait, let's let's yeah, aha, uh-huh. lost items section B and yeah, wait, wait, there we go. Ah, okay, okay, Arya, look, I had my backpack while climbing up the stairs, see? Okay, okay. And I kept it on the bench outside the room, not on the sofa, okay. okay. And then Yuki, ah. look. Oh my god, Yuki. Oh my, this dog. <sighs> he took your bag though and you didn't even notice. Dumb dog, where is he now? Come on, let's go on. It's It's because we didn't let him choose this topic. Ah uh, yeah, it was Mishti. She would never take my bag. Let's go She's now. Let's good. go to him. Let's get my bag. I'm quite hungry. We have to move on now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, but first uh, uh, uh. Uh, Exactly. Mm-hmm. We must use mind control to make sure that the viewers like, share and subscribe. Yes. Come on, guys. Come on. This is us using mind control. Yes. appreciate it but i kind of have a feeling they will you know promote our podcast support us after this mind bending mysterious journey <laughs> well bye guys hope you enjoyed today's episode and if you really like this sort of like um weird unique way that we got <laughs> in this episode then please do support us like share and subscribe see you guys next time with